Hey and welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at how to use the confirmation dialogues in SwiftUI so we're going to be using an example from my previous video swipe actions in SwiftUI which you should check out so you can see how to build this mail app and what we're going to do is actually add a confirmation dialog for when someone wants to delete an item within their mailbox so let's get straight into it so confirmation dialog is similar to the alerts that we cook in the video alerts in swift ui which you can check out in the swift ui sessions playlist except these dialogues appear from the bottom of the screen rather than within the center so the first thing that we're going to do is actually add in a source of truth for managing whether our confirmation dialog should appear or not so let's add this onto our content view now Cool, so now we have our source of truth. The next thing we wanna do is we actually want this confirmation dialog to appear whenever someone taps on this delete button specifically. So if you actually just scroll down, you should notice that there is a button here where we call the delete. And if you actually wanna find this even more easier, if you just actually just do a command F and then just look for the keyword delete, you'll see that it appears here as well. So rather than us actually calling this function, instead what we wanna do is we want to toggle the value for show confirmation. So let's delete this and then say show confirmation dot toggle. So this will now allow us to show our dialogue. So now we've done that, we actually want to add in our confirmation dialogue as well. So let's do this. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and at the end of our view, so at the end of this toolbar, so I'm just gonna collapse this. So at the end of this toolbar, what we're going to do is just write out the following. So if you do dot and then confirmation dialog, you'll see that you actually have quite a few options that you can work with. Now, the option that we want to go for is the what the option at its most simple example. So we want to have the option where it, you can toggle is presented the title visibility and also pass in a button and a message. So let's actually just look for this one now. So we want this option here where you get these items. So you have title is presented, title visibility, actions, and a message. So if you just hit enter, so on the title here, we wanna set this to delete, like so. Is presented, we want that to be bound to our show confirmation. And then for now, we want our title visibility to be visible. And then again, for our actions and our message, we're just going to pass in our own views like so. So within our actions, we actually want to use a button and we want to use a button with the role of destructive so that it's read to let the user know that they're about to get rid of something. So if you want to perform some kind of delete or removal action, you should always set your button role to be destru destructive. So let's do that now. So if you just type out button and then role, and then you should be able to type in here destructive, like so. And then for the action, we'll handle that in a bit. But for the label here, we just want to add in the text delete, like so. And then for our message that we display in our confirmation dialog, we just want to say, are you sure you want to remove this item? Okay, cool. So let's actually just see what this looks like. So if we just swipe across here, and if we now tap on delete, you now see that we actually get this confirmation dialog and we have our title that we specified, we have our message as well, and we also have our label within our button. And you can see that's highlighted in red because we said we wanted the role to be destructive but we can actually customize our confirmation dialog too as well. So right now our title visibility is actually set to, you know, be visible, but we've now got two text here saying delete. So what about if we want to actually hide this title? Well, all we need to do is on our title visibility, we just need to change this to the opposite one, which is hidden. So now when we run this, You should see that you don't have a title anymore but you do have the text within your message which has become the main title so if we wanted to when we actually tap on our delete button we can actually perform some kind of execution but in our case what we want to do is we want to actually delete the item from our inbox view from our view model 
But let's actually see how we can do that now. So if I actually type in here, vm.delete, you'll notice that our view model is only able to delete an item that gets passed in. And right now in our confirmation dialog, there's no reference to that item at all. So how do we actually access and get the item that we need to delete? Well, what we need to do now is we need to actually use the other options within our confirmation dialog, which allows us to actually pass data through and use it within our closures. So in order to actually make this happen, the first thing you need to do is actually create a property to actually hold the value that you want to manage. So at the top of our file, if we just delete this, what we're going to do underneath our show confirmation is create some kind of source of truth for holding the item that was tapped when someone hit delete. So let's just type this out now and I will break it down. So now we have our state property and we've made an optional inbox item because you know when you open up your app for the first time, this is going to be nil. Someone's not selected that they want to delete an inbox item just yet. So this is going to hold the item that the user taps on here. So if they tapped on delete here, it's going to pass in this object into this property here and vice versa for the rest of them. So now that we actually have our property for storing our source of truth, what we need to do is we need to actually set this when someone taps on that delete button. So we just scroll down and what I'm just going to do, is I'm just going to toggle off the swipe action so it's just a lot easier to read and this here. So what we want to do is the item within our for each, we want to actually set that to the inbox item when someone taps on this button. So in our button where we actually call our show confirmation to toggle, above it what we want to do is we want to set the inbox item to the item from our for each loop so now whenever we tap on any of these rows it will pass on that model within this state property here so now in our confirmation dialog we actually want to pass this through into our closure so we can use it on our actions and also so we can use it on our message and also the button controls that we want to use our Post. So now in our confirmation dialog, we actually want to pass this through our closures so we can actually manage our item. So let's actually scroll down. And with confirmation dialog, there's actually another parameter that you can use to actually pass data through the confirmation dialog into these two closures. So what we're going to do here is just above. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to type this out again so we can actually see the difference. So just below your toolbar if you just type out dot confirmation dialog and the option that we want to use is the option where you can pass in the is presented presenting data actions and the option that we want to use here is we want to use the option where it has the title string is presented we can toggle the visibility, passing data, actions, and message. So this is a lot. So if you actually can't find this in the list because there's quite a few options here, it's fine. You can just type it out after I finish typing it out. So let's do this now. Cool. So for the title, we're just going to say remove this time rather than um, delete. Well, actually, no, we're going to say delete mail item and then the is presented is going to be bound to our show confirmation and the title visibility is going to be visible and then for our for our presenting this time here what we're actually going to pass through is our inbox item that we use to capture the item that's been, that your user wants to delete. And then on our actions and message, when you hit enter, you should see now that you actually have two new parameters within your, well, two new values you can access within your closures. So I'm just gonna say item here and also item here as well, like so. So now, if you actually compare the two, you can see that the difference between them is this time, we now have this presenting property here Post. We now have this presenting parameter here within our confirmation dialog, and we can also access the item within our actions and message closure. So within our actions, what we want to do is we want to actually add in logic 
um, to delete it and within our message we only wanted to show the title to the user to show them what item they're trying to remove so let's do our message first call and then in our actions we want to add another button with the role of destructive and this time we want to call the view model to delete it with an animation so let's just copy our button from our old example here and then within our action we're just going to say with animation and then we're going to call our view model dot delete and then we're going to pass in this item here like so so on our confirmation dialog the old version let's just remove this because we don't want to display that anymore we want to use this version and now let's run this on our simulator let's run this on our swift ui preview and if we just swipe across and this time if we hit delete you'll see that we now have the title saying delete mail item and you'll see that our message now actually includes the title of our email one like so and if we hit delete you'll see that it actually removes it from the mailbox and we can actually do this again on another example so if i do a full swipe you'll see it says email free and then delete so it removes it so you've now got a confirmation dialog to alert users as to whether they want to confirm an action so this is similar to alert where it's useful where you want to make sure that the user definitely wants to perform this action and you can see how you can now pass data through the function as well okay so that's everything in this video if you enjoyed it i'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below also as well if you haven't already i really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever i release a new video that's everything from me i'll catch you on a bit deuces